So for those who don't know, uh, SB4 allows Texas law enforcement officials to arrest and detain illegal immigrants. Now, um, there's been a lot of misinformation about it. You are fake news. I want to read you what uh, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick had to say about it. He gave a very, very good explanation on it. But um, so SB4 was uh, first, it had been blocked by the Supreme Court. And there was um, a date on the calendar that I believe it was March 18th that they were, um, they had extended that block to. Well, then they extended the block, but then the very next day, last week, I believe this was Tuesday of last week, when they reversed the block that they had just extended uh, the previous day, Monday last week, and they came out with a 6-3 ruling that said that Texas was in fact allowed uh, to, of course, arrest and detain illegal immigrants. And they completely reversed the decision. Now, it was, of course, all the usual suspects, Sotomayor, uh, Kagan, and Katanji Brown-Jackson that dissented. Um, but it was just a, a crazy turn of events. Um, and then, mere hours later, after we had celebrated like, wow, this is awesome. We actually get to defend our borders uh, and, and arrest immigrants and actually potentially like get them out of Texas, send them back into Mexico. Well, all of that was like, poof, gone in mere hours when the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals uh, decided to jump back in and block the law again from taking effect. So it is- What is going on? My neck hurts from all of the whiplash of all of the different uh, decisions all just last week.